Over the years, we've gotten lots of questions about designating new National Marine Sanctuaries. Local communities, elected officials, environmental groups, and many others have asked us how they can protect the places they care about in our ocean and Great Lakes through sanctuary designation. But for more than a decade, NOAA stopped formally considering these requests so the National Marine Sanctuary System could focus on managing existing sanctuaries. The last National Marine Sanctuary designated was Thunder Bay in 2000. Since then, public interest in new marine sanctuaries has remained high. Grassroots campaigns formed by coastal communities across the nation have gained widespread support in recent years, urging NOAA to offer a new pathway to sanctuary designation for their local waters. That's why we are pleased to announce the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries is proposing to reestablish the sanctuary nomination process. If successful, local communities and other groups will once again be able to submit special areas of our ocean and Great Lakes for consideration to become National Marine Sanctuaries. But first, we need your input. Before any new nominations can be considered, NOAA is changing two things. First, the criteria for evaluating each sanctuary nomination, essentially what makes a place worthy of protection, and second, how those nominations are handled as they come in. The public will have 60 days to provide comments on the new sanctuary nomination process. Have an idea on how we can improve it? Go to sanctuaries.noaa.gov and share it with us. We want this to be the best, most transparent process possible. Again, NOAA isn't accepting new sanctuary nominations just yet. That will happen when and if the new criteria and process are finalized. Like us on Facebook at NOAA Office of National Marine Sanctuaries and follow us on Twitter at Sanctuaries for updates.